Hello everybody, this is SQX, and welcome back to Fallout 76. This time I'm recording because for some reason, um, the internet's going bad and... Oops, I didn't mean to leave the game. But the, um, internet's not working that well, so I'm not going to be able to live stream, so I just figured out to record it instead. I really need to get... It. Even though the GPU says it's using, um, it's using an encoder, for some reason it still doesn't do that good. That's irritating. Get it, team. Let's see, what weapon and ammo do I need anyway? But the gun game will should run fine. Hopefully. But we have this. See, that's, I hate that we can't. Choose where it goes. It's fucking annoying. Fucking annoying. Man, I don't really have much you know, except for this. Is this was that snap if yeah it says it's I don't know why it was not highlighted earlier, but it works. Um, let's see what else what do we need? Could use some 44 ammo. I definitely need plasma. Do I have any plasma? No, I don't. I have Alien Blaster, Gamma, and Cairo. Fucking bullshit, man. Bullshit. I need a 10 millimeter ammo. Do I have any? No. Well, it looks like I might have to go to the donation box. First, let's go to here. I don't even have any ammo. Ugh, so you can have, see if we can modify some stuff. Wait, 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 wait. Specifically, I won't. I might come back right away. I don't remember even having this. Hmm. What we want to do. I don't have any mods or anything for it. Oh. What chainsaw? <laughs> no. Make this go. We load a gun here. There's armor, chemicals. Oh, I need a uh, tinkers people. That's what I need. That's one, that's one I need a... Do you? Here we go. Shotgun, come out rifle. There we go, that should be good. Um, now we gotta figure out if we can make... Okay. Middle button works for that, okay. But I need to make um, how do I? There we go. 
This is some new stuff I got. Cause it was pretty. This is f upper floors. Oh, this is for foundation. Which we could probably place it, maybe? I guess we can. I don't want to. I hate that we gotta replace everyone, and it takes a takes a while. I mean, it's not too hard to be honest. Wait, what? Oh. Why, why are these concrete and then these wood? Oh well. So it'll look the same, hopefully. <clears throat> there we go, see? better already <clears throat> what about the walls oh. is there like wallpaper we can use Brick walls, middle, red barn. Let's see, what about the wall before? No, that's all just gonna be that yeah, stuff. Cool though, put one right here. I'm gonna put one of these. Support our troops, buy war bonds today. I'm gonna put one right here. There we go. Man, they're not. Symmetrical though, it's just by the annoying me. So let's go on, let's store this. I'm gonna put this one up instead, just so it's symmetrical. Because <laughs> that's my OCD. <laughs> there we go. Actually, let's move. We can remove, uh, move her. So you already got one right here, and I can make a special area dedicated to the cola. Oh my god, we got a big ass dinosaur we can put outside. And then we got personal terminal, which we should probably have. Well, we're probably gonna need power to the class. Can I go with other ways? So there's any important news about up? I guess we can put it right here. I can angle it right here. Straighter. That's better. I don't say nothing about needing power, so that's good. Oh, I didn't realize there was different flags you could put down. Some bitch. Non-binary, pansexual, progress. What the fuck does progress mean? Traditional, gender. That's bullshit. 
Where's my straight flag? I guess the sunflower would be my straight flag. <laughs> I like how they support everyone else but straight. I understand gays were bullied, but so were straight people who are nerds. I was bullied in school. So, where's my fucking street flag? Bitch. Um, actually, let's make some more generators if I can. Specifically, these. Is that the same kind? Or is that a different one? That's the same one, I think. Hold on, let me check. This needs... How much does this produce? Five? Are you fucking serious? Ten, eight. Uh. Alright, let's do... How do you touch wire? Space car? Okay. Let's disconnect this. Or we can connect it like that. And then she will just start producing water. Yay! We got water! We get water! I got all these plants growing. Nice and good. Now we're gonna need another generator for my stuff in here but I don't know how to sneak what's a good place to put a generator a fusion core recharger oh yeah we're gonna need this for a power armor or could you Nuka Cola, Collectron. That's too big. So you might have to have a certain station for. or a certain area for all the use computers and stuff. Probably build something over this way. And they build a building right here for all of our. Oof. Other stuff that we need. <laughs> oh, I put the dirty one there. Let's place this. Oh, I can't. Oh, I'll just scrap it. And put this one here. There you go. How much does this need? Three. How much am I producing? I think I'm producing ten, right? So we need like one more. Fuck. I guess we can put it right here. Right there for now. I do want to change these walls though eventually. How do you change? Hmm. 
Is there a way to make like a downstairs area? Like what if we store this? And how do we make like a downstairs? Oh, not like that. Oh wait, I need I'm gonna need this. Alright. Right. Very good. Not now we have that. Campfire. But how do you make downstairs? That's my question. Like, how do we? Will Maybe we have to make it upstairs. I'll try that. And then upstairs, I can probably put other stuff. You know what? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna store all of these. Or, you know what? Never mind. I'm gonna. stuff um concrete can do that steel walls would probably be better I need to get plans for all that so this bottom here for all this stuff <laughs> and then upstairs we can put our lights and stuff and then we can probably do like this stuff We're gonna need something to like a couch. Like this right here. That'd be good. I'm gonna go right there. I'm gonna have a. I'm gonna have a piano right here. First, let's go to my storage spot and put this back. I'm gonna put a little piano thing right here.
Oh, I didn't realize there was different types. So I'm gonna put this right here. Hold on. But, oh, I can't replace it. Oh, I'll scrap it then. Fuck you. And we could put clasp, you know, right there. Nice. And we can put steel guitar, banjo, bass, snare drum. Let's put stuff like that right here. Or I could probably just put it outside. People want to play music. I'm gonna have a little area over here for them. That's cool. It's just going to be able to have it. And then put snare drums. Actually, we gotta put the snare drums like right back here. And then we can put this right here. Like that. I have a little band section right here. And I got acoustic guitar and banjo to put. Got acoustic guitar to put right here. And we can put banjo right back here. And we can move, we can go ahead and move this stuff. Move it more towards the, over by the Fire over here. And why does it do that? Thank you. Put that there. This. There. We got a full band going on. Anything else? Nope. That's all. Hell yeah, so we got a little band going right here. <laughs> Play music. And um, then, let's see what else. We can have a dumpster out here, I guess. Put it like right here. I should know, because that's going to be where our farm is. Put a dumpster for you over here somewhere, maybe. Put it right there. There's people, just in case people got some trash they want to put away. Alright. Now we got some more 40 core for our modern home. Like this modern home counter. Let's see. Put counter, we got shells. Hold on. That's the only shells we got, really. Um we got these. Alright, let's do this. We're gonna... I don't know why I'm scrapping this. We could have just be storing it. There we go. And now I can make up an upstairs. And we're gonna store all these away. The only thing we don't want to store is 
The only thing we don't want to move is the storage here and the components here. Those are important. These we can move upstairs. Including my terminal. Everything else is going to be... Storage and stuff, like I said. Um, but I'm gonna store this just so we can get go where we want this stuff. There we go. Now we can build the shelves and stuff. I'm 44. Yeah. That, that, and that. Okay, so we want to put this mainly. First. Right up against the wall here. Like that. And then we can add on to it. By putting on... One of these. As well as, um... Put another couple of shelves here. And then we got corner. So if we want to continue on this way. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna move this down over here. First we gotta put a counter here. Make sure it's good in there. Then we can take these, shit, take these, put them right there. See, it's not perfect, so let me try and straighten this out a little bit. Come on, it's so hard to get it fucking perfectly straight. Ah, that's good enough. that there and attach this here attach these see it's not it's crooked I hate when it's crooked dude it ruins it What if you put it like no that's too much up against the wall? That should be good. Okay. Let's go stored. Oh I didn't know I know I had four Oh no, it's just cause they're variants, that's why. I was about to say it was not And I can't attach it. Fuck. It's too up too close to the wall. Fuck. Okay, so hold on. I hate that it moves it when he picks it up though. I'm about right there. Or is it because of this? Try moving that up and see if it's because of that. That's bullshit. If that's connecting, this should be able to connect. Motherfucker. There you go. Sorry, Mr. Pubbles. I put you back, back down here. Oh, of course, then this don't want to connect. What the fuck? Oh, I guess I put one right here. There we go. I have it like that. And then got a little window right here we can use.
And the floor stuff though. I mean I could probably move this to here. Put another one right there. That way we have two ovens. And then we can put some wall decor up. Look right here. Put it like right up here. Oh, uh, let me let's move this over here. And then we can put this right here. Oh, but then I won't connect. Will it? Let's try to see if we can put it right here. Right there. I still don't think it'll connect, will it? Then we can put it right here. Let's put it a little bit this way. Looks like that. And then we put on these right up here. No, never mind. That looks weird. Put one of these maybe. I wish I could connect though, but don't connect. Feel like that. I mean, granted, it's a little off, but fit it perfectly. That's good enough. Yeah, it looks good. Right. Let's see. And all sorts of paintings. All right. Let's figure out where we want to move this, some of this stuff. That's right here. Store this ammo. Alright. <clears throat> Actually, I'm gonna have to figure out a way to, get it to put it um, somewhere to put a good place. For the stuff, and I think my apps. Hold on, let me. I'll be right back. Let me check something. Yeah, I think it's just the app, my OBS app that it's acting up. If you don't know, guys, there's a, a app uh, that you can get on uh, iPhone, and I'm sure they have it on Android. Called OBS Blade. Basically, it lets you control your stuff from your phone, but for some reason the. Where it says recording, uh, it shows like uh, how long you've been recording or streaming, and for some reason it's glitched somehow. And what's with fucking Windows Explorer needs to stop? Every time I get on this game, it wants to crash. It makes zero sense. What the fuck? Oops.
Uh, we want to move this so it's symmetrical with this mat or uh, sofa. Whatever you want to call it. All right, so we got a good little kitchen, kitchen, uh, kitchen going thing going on here. Um, let's see if there's anything else interesting. Mm, like tables. I can have a desk. We're probably gonna put that upsta upstairs so I can have like somewhere. I need an actual table, like kitchen table or something though. I see a good table to have. I want like an actual table. Like, yeah, something like this, like a coffee table. Well, then you got mom and kitchen table. I got plans for this stuff though. Cause I like this table, this, this design. Looks cool. Obviously, we need to unlock it. We can put wind chimes. The wind chimes, like, right. Let's see. We can put it, like, right on the corner. On the... I just want to see what. It... Let me know when. Well, it's just. I don't think it fits the door. Never mind. Let's just move this somewhere out here. Like right here. Because I, I was going to use it as like some emergency thing. So we know, like, whenever people come inside, beware death claw, aka me. <laughs> and you know what? I'm gonna change the clock to something else. I can't. Let's be. I guess we can store it, and then we can use a different clock. Bro, what's the difference between all these three? Is it a color? You can't even tell what the color is because of the highlight. That's okay. That's gray, red, then another gray. I'll do red. It looks better. See, it looks better already. Alright, let's see. Got displays we can put up. So we want a magazine rack, we can put one right here. Or, hold on. Is that magazine rack? These are two different racks. Why? Okay, that's kind of an. Oh, maybe it's because it's different resources. Maybe that's why they put it. But I'm gonna scrap that, and we're actually gonna use this one. I think this one looks better. Oh, we got heavy weapon stand, and we got a display case and a wall weapon rack. I think we have. See, that's stupid. We can't put it on the divide where the divider is at. I guess we put it right here. There we go. I got plenty of weapons to put right there. And then we can put our. Uh, actually, we're gonna have to remove this middle one here. And then we can put our. For our bobbleheads. Alright, here. Yeah. 
here we go. And then we got display plates. Which I might put one right here, but. Ooh, we got big ones too. Let's put one right in the middle here. <clears throat> Another gillow. Alright, we need some more. Lights and stuff. Here we go. Can you put a light on top of here? Yes, you can. <laughs> put a little Nuka Cola light right there as we play piano. We can have a neon dice sign. Uh, that. Or we can have a lamp. Let's put a lamp right here. A lamp right here. Actually, let's move this lamp. And move it right here. And have one more right here where our bed is. Is there any more like beds that we can put down? More even is beds. I don't know why it's lagging really bad. I think we got intersex. Non binary. I'm sorry, but non binary is stupid as fuck. I support P. I. I understand if people have a gender dysphoria and they want to be like a different. If they want to feel like a man or they want to feel like a woman. But to say you're non binary. Binary. Non binary it makes no sense to me. And what's the point of gender fluid? Isn't gender fluid just like the same thing as fucking non-binary? Like that makes- I don't- I'm so confused. It makes no fucking sense to me. It's no medical sense. Call me transphobic? I really don't give a fuck. I really don't care. You're a twit. I don't fucking care. I support gay people though. I do that. Cause I've had friends and family that were gay. And I do have, well, did have a friend that was trans, but... They're a little, I don't know about their politics. Politically sh she turned into a he is. I don't agree with her politics. I just don't. Alright, I'm trying to see if there's anything else. Oh, yeah, I can probably put a radio somewhere. But I'm gonna need a table. I'm gonna need a table here. Yeah. Kind of a curio. I have a table sitting right here. And we can put a radio here. I'm find where it's at. Where is it at? This place... Bruh, where the fuck?
here we go. Appliances. Struggled to find that bitch. A radio right there. And then here's all the. That's the beds. Oh, ridiculous. Ridiculous. Alright, um, I think it's pretty good for the interior. Actually, let me put more and more light lamp, like right here. There we go. Now we got all the lightage. So how much electricity are we going to need? We got one, two, three, four lamps. What the fuck was that? We got four lamps. We got everything else. We got these posters. Some of these posters are light up. So we really need, need not that much power. I do need a bit. Bigger generator though, and this solar panels. I believe everyone should invest in solar panels at least once in their life. Even though I know they're kind of expensive at first, but it's good for the environment, guys. It's good for the environment. Um, let me see if there's a good way I can place this. What if I place it? Can I like take the wire through the wall? That would be very nice. Let's place a generator there. Um, I don't have enough screws. Fuck. Let's see if we can. Damn it. I'm gonna replace that and then this with those. And then we can move move these poster over here. Other than the fucking shit. This right here. Me. Why can't I put it right there? You put the other one. Oh, that's fucking retarded, dude. Sometimes is. If we can put it right. Can't put it right there either. Mother fuck. I really don't go nowhere. Really. I guess we have to move this poster. Well, I can't even put it there. Motherfucker. Come on, I just want to see if. Can we. Fuck. I was pressing the wrong button. Can't put like, can't put to the wall, can you? Fuck. Never mind, guys. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to. Change these back. Wait a minute, I just realized it says wallpapers. I can apply wallpapers, dude. Yes. 
the only ones we got is um nuka cola shit. We don't got like regular Appalachia sleep. See, that's fucking stupid, dude. That's one thing I hate about this game is some of this stuff you can't like this stuff right here, this Appalachian state stuff or slate stuff. You should already have that. Instead of having to use fucking Coca-Cola shit. Oh well. And then it covers the wall. Hold on. Hold on. How do I remove the... Is there no way of removing... No, let's just scrap it. Fuck it. Scrap the whole fucking wall. No. Alright, let's... Let's store all of these. So we don't... So that's probably why they're like... So that's how you apply the... Wallpapers, okay. See, so then we can do this. Moving wallpaper room with items and cinnamon storage. Ah. Oh. oh shit. Well, if we got any more place. There we go. See, that looks so much better. But clearly, we got. These shelves. I know what's floating. Right, there should be good. Actually, you know what? I'm moving this. It's over here. Put it right here. Cause I fucking can. What? There we go. And then we're gonna put the yes. Right up. Like that. Yeah. And then put another shelf. And there you go. I went too hard. I got a message for someone. Lab results. Oh, I already got fucking lab results and shit. God damn it. That's something else. <laughs> oh, I probably ruined the outside, didn't it? Bitch. Oh, I want to see. Can we put? Oh, I don't put it on the outside. I thought I was gonna be able to put it on the outside, thing, but ain't big deal. Ain't big deal. I'm gonna put these one chimes back here. Let's beware death claw sign back up here. And then. Put these somewhere. I put them right here. See, put it like that. And then put 
West Virginia. Mount Mama. I'm gonna put Mr. Pebbles right here. Mr. Pebbles. I can move this so it's. Or actually, I can put this right there. Alright. And then we can put. Shit. Let's put a uh, space model somewhere. Right here. And then we got some of these. Here, I'm gonna put, put, put um, one of these here. I'm gonna put these around. This going right here. How does that say? America lives in you. Oh. Finally, this is godliness. Yes. I'll put this on this corner somewhere. Extermination is everyone's job. <laughs> I said we can never hurt you. Hard work is happy work. Hell yeah. I'll put this one right here. Oh my god, my mom's calling me. Let me pause. I'll be back. Hello everybody, I'm back. I'm by it from the day. Playing some drums. It's been a few hours. It's been a few hours since I was on pause. Look at this badass. Alright. I need friends. If anybody's watching this, I need some friends. I got plenty of band instruments here. I got some water. I got some fruit. Some melons. Anything you could possibly need. <coughs> Almost anything. This is when I wish they had better sorting. Like a better sorting mod or something. I don't want no dirty water. Let me put some of this stuff in the punch bowl. Oh, I can't. That's good. Right in here. What the fuck? Well, I guess not. Unless I want to sell some. Oh, uh, is there a way to see how much it's worth on here? No. I'll just sell it for like. Cap. Dirty water, we can have that for free. Put some beans. Let's sell these blood packs. Some for say fifteen caps. Uh, what's the difference between what um, Restores health with initial burst, followed by slow rate for new one. The value is 11, but we're gonna sell it for 13. No, we're gonna sell it for 15. And then we're gonna get. We're actually. 
Let's take the blood packs back and we're gonna sell those for cheaper. We're gonna sell them for like 10. And then we can sell some stealth boys. They're 60 caps. But we're gonna sell them for 60. 62. Or actually, no, I'm not sure it's a little bit cheaper. We're gonna sell 65. Or 55, I mean. We got a ton of right away we can sell as well. Just gonna sell like 20. For the number price 25, let's bring it down to 20. Actually, let's bring it down to. Uh, actually, yeah, 20 is fine. Yes. And then we can do the right away here. So how much should I sell the right away? 20? Yeah, I can do 15 as well. For that. Then we can sell some Radix. We can sell a lot of that because I barely use Radix that uh, often. 25, we're going to sell it for 20. Glowing blood. I mean, how good is that compared to uh, a little bit better? 30? No, we're not going to do 30. We're going to do 20. Okay. We got bobby pins. New card. I'll still have a new card, I guess. I don't really use it. Tokens I'll keep. I'm going to give away some bobby pins. 25, good. 5? I'm going to sell for 3. No, I'm going to sell for 2. And I got a bunch of hollow tapes. Plans. Let's see, do we have any plans? We got treasury bonds. No, all those plans are already. Oh, wait, we can sell one of these because I got two of them. So we can sell one of those. 450, though. No, we're going to sell that for like 400. Or no, we're going to do it for two. 350, 350. 350 for fans. And that's all we can really do here. Drunk mods. We can do some mods. We got. I ain't gonna do junk because we need junk for building. We can do these mods though. I'm gonna do 20 caps for these mods. And we'll make this 8. Or no, we're gonna make this 6. This we make twenty. Golf club twenty. 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 What about arm twenty? So wait, how much was this? Fifty. Let's do forty. Um, actually, let's do 30, 35, 35, there we go, ammo, we can probably sell ammo, like arrows, I ain't gonna use arrows, some for a cap, 
as well as uh, these flares. Uh, when I got so all of it, let's just so like 29. So, like, or no, let's make a good number 30. I'm gonna do for eight caps. Those are expensive. Okay, we got cryo cells you can sell. And sell that for five. Fuel, we can sell all that because I ain't gonna use any of that. Shotgun shells, we can sell a shit ton of that because we got a buttload of shells. So we can sell like 500. Two caps. Well, let's do one cap. That's right, fine. Let's see what else. Not payroll. I guess we can sell these. I ain't gonna use them. So this for 10 caps. Has my suit. We can sell that for 45 caps. Responder uniform. That's definitely not worth that much. We can do like 35 caps. All right, let's do. Do like twenty-five. We got armor we can use. And so that for how much for metal armor? I do thirty caps for metal armor, I guess. So this suck. All right, I'll be right back. I gotta eat dinner. Me go to eat dinner. Yeah, wait for this shit to load. Hello, everybody. I'm back. 
And I'm ready to show you guys. Overcumbered. How the fuck am I overcumbered? Yeah, see, that's a lie. Lie! What level am I at? Thirty-two, yeah, fuck me. We're gonna have to sell these weapons. Wait, where am I going? Okay. We're gonna have to sell these level 45 weapons because they're way too fucking high. Like this. Oh no wonder I can't use this. It's not just because I don't have plasma, it's because it's fucking level 45. Uh, hold on. I'm gonna... I'm gonna do this for a little bit cheaper price. We're just gonna do a good... 590. Why not? It's a good weapon, but I don't got no fucking... I'm not high enough level. It sucks with balls. Let's see, let me. I'm gonna grab these nipple chairs though. You're gonna have all the other things. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna show you guys my house that I worked on building that took me about an hour or so. Including all of these, this little band we got here. And here's the inside of the house. Looks nice. We got piano here, we got lamp here. We got. Unfortunately, I don't know where else to put this generator but we got it right there we got a radio I don't want to play it for too long because I'll probably get copyright um hold on let me there we go we can put effects down put music up so a voice menu music we gotta put that shit up world radios we can put that up There we go. Good some music. We got our sofa here. Scrap box. A stash box here. This is so I can come over and just pull my junk in here. And grab whatever I want. Um speaking of which let me see if there's anything. And then we got our little kitchen right here, which obviously is not really that workable. Besides, we can get some water. We got my little magazine collection here. Uh, Bubblehead collection. Just, uh, weapon rack here, so we can put weapons on here. Which, actually, you know what? That's what I should have done. Instead of selling those two weapons, let's put... I want to keep... The slug buster. We're gonna take the slug buster and put it on this wall. Since I can't use it yet, we can wait till later. And then put some more pictures. We got clock here. I don't even know if it actually works. What time is it actually on the game? 10:37. Actually works. I think. Wait, no. No, don't. Never mind. This big hand, big hand is too, too far up. Uh, there's a piano. And then we got our upstairs here with a little curtain door. And then this is where we have all of our tinkering and our bed here, and as well as our terminal and everything. Actually, I'll see what this terminal does. Hello, automated alerts. I don't know what any of this means. No appointments, okay. Most of the stuff I don't know what it means. Um we got our ammo box here of course and everything. And yeah, that's pretty much the house now. Um 
All right, let's see what ammo I gotta make. We got this combat strike. Oh, we got plenty of ammo for that. We need. We need ten millimeter, definitely. Oh, what the fuck is that? Is there a zombie or something? What the fuck is that noise? Hold on. What the fuck? You little bastards. Oh. Why did it click it out of the game? Oh. Thank you. Somehow the game accidentally came out. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to move one of these. It's apparently... I'm getting more rats over there, so let's move this turret. Over here somewhere, so we can protect our... Our, uh... Food. Fuckers. Thank you for your meat, though. Uh, oh yeah, and here's our farm, of course. We got melons, plenty of corn, and other stuff. But yeah, that's pretty much our base. Um, let me make sure I get to close this curtain. Because I don't want any other players going up there. And I do want to. I need to make a switch eventually, so I can turn off the generator. But uh, yeah, this is our nice little house, which somehow that happened. <laughs> I didn't realize I did that. Store that. Alright, yeah, it looks good in general. And we got a little vending machine here so people can buy and stuff. And uh, yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and do our mission that we gotta do. Which we're gonna be joining the Brotherhood for Atlas. Let's see where is that at. Up here, right here, and I'll be able to go. Let's go over here. It'll be easier. <sighs> I really wish I could go live. This is not like this, but. Oh shit, he's shooting me. Fuck that. Ow! Drink some water. Do I got no stim packs on me? Yeah, I do, but why is it not? Shit, that's what I'm meant to do. Go join the Brotherhood of Steel. Damn, what happened here? Hello. Um, oh wait, no, they're up here more. Mm. 
we are. Almost there. Welcome to the neighborhood. Speak with Russell Dorsey. Why is the sky so freaking gray and foggy? Hello. The fight is just beginning. Stay disciplined. The old world has so much to teach. I'm thinking about joining up, getting in on the ground floor. How about you? You look way too young for your age with that mustache. Maybe I should join up. Fight the bad guys, do some good for once. Make a difference. Yeah, yeah. Look at me. Speaking of which, actually I do want to change my character, because I got a mustache now. So we're going to have to change facial hair. Something like that would be be good, order, illness, I like that. That's kind of the hair I want, if I ever get that much. Think I'll make the cut? Oh, so you must talk all the same. I know I doubt you will. So this must be where. Welcome to Fort Atlas. Hello. Hello, Russell Dorsey, Brotherhood Initiate. Welcome to Fort Atlas. Thank you. What's your story? Me? Oh, I'm just a guy who wanted to be a part of something special, a place to do something that really mattered. I picked up the messages the Brotherhood were broadcasting on the way here, and I came out ahead to help set up the place, hoping they'd let me join. They liked my initiative, and now I'm an initiate. Nice bit of symmetry, I thought. Huh. Okay, what's going on here? Well, this is Fort Atlas, new headquarters of the Brotherhood of Steel in Appalachia. The Brotherhood's in the process of getting everything in order here. But already people from all over Appalachia are turning up. Some need help, some want to join, but it seems like everybody's curious what comes next. Yep. I just say what Paladin Romani says. We're here to help. Okay. Formerly the Atlas Observatory, now headquarters for the Brotherhood of Steel. Okay, I like to know more about. Oh, yeah. oh, shit. I like to know more about the Brotherhood. Of course. What do you want to know? What can you tell me? The Brotherhood of Steel is a. Well, I guess you'd call it a military organization. Founded originally out in California around when the bombs fell. Mm. We're dedicated to rebuilding society and preserving old technology. Keeping the mistakes of the past from being repeated, you know? Yeah, makes sense. One makes of the members sense. from California could tell you more, I'm sure. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. What's it like being an initiate? Oh, it's an honor. I know that sounds like some recruiting poster nonsense, but really, it is. I finally feel like I'm part of something meaningful. Building a better world alongside other people who have committed their lives to that cause. Sure, sometimes it means doing guard shifts in the rain, but hey, small price to pay for real purpose, right? I guess so. How many of the Brotherhood are here? Pretty sure that's strategic information I'm not supposed to just give out to anybody that asks. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. What do you need? I'd like to speak to somebody in charge. Uh, looking to sign up? Or just curious? Well, either way, I guess it's not me you want to talk to. Most of the fort's off limits to civilians, but if you're interested, Knight Shin's in charge of the new recruits. He's very serious about protocol and security, so you'll have to speak to him first if you want to get anywhere. Very well. I shall do that. Where is he? Don't oh, worry course. about the bots. They're working for me. Mm -hmm, I see that. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool.
Hello, Brotherhood. I have real duties to attend to. The outer perimeter is still unsecured, the provisions aren't properly stowed, and we're awash in hopefuls. I have no time to be babysitting civilians. Your duties are what I say they are, Knight. Your objections are noted, but this is a direct order from your commanding officer. You're Help us put listen. on a good face for the local people. We've just moved into their backyard. They're nervous. Show them we mean no harm. If you insist, Paladin. If there's nothing further, I'll have the completed report on your desk shortly. I expect nothing less from you. As you were, Shin. Paladin. Okay. Yikes. If you're not here on Brotherhood business, I suggest you move along. Well, I am, smart. If ass. you're here with a request for the Brotherhood, get in line. I don't have time for you right now. Were you fighting with that other officer? That was a Brotherhood matter, civilian. And none of your concern. You're trying my patience, so get on with it. This voice sounds familiar. Is this the same voice actor from... Uh, or is the same guy from, uh... Or defiance. The Good Doctor? Because this sounds like his voice. Knight Daniel Shin. Brotherhood of Steel, First Expeditionary Force. I am pretty We've convinced We've got important work to do here, so... Get to the point. He's one of the uh, lead surgeons who died from uh, Good Doctor. We're all to Russell the Dorsey is to me, uh, sent me to talk to you. Did he? Initia Dorsey is supposed to be manning his post at the entrance, not acting as my secretary. Really? I am not known by my initiates for tolerating foolishness, outsider. Persist in that tone, and you will learn how much less I tolerate it from civilians. You think I give a fuck? Smart ass. What would it mean to join the... What are the Brotherhood doing here? The specifics of our mission are not for discussion with civilians. Yeah, I thought We're so. here under orders from Elder Maxon. Oh, he's saved. still alive, eh? The scorched, the Elder Maxon? Isn't that the same guy from Fallout 4? Hold on. Let me see. Elder Maxon. Yes, it is. Unless it's a... Unless it's a different Maxon, because there's... One day I'll make night. Then I'll show those Let's see here. Boss. Mm, Jessica Maxon and Roger Maxon. Unless it's Roger Maxon. Oh, he's a founder of the Brother of Steel. Makes sense, makes sense. Alright. What it means to join the Brotherhood. If we accept you as an initiate, and that is far from certain, you would be pledging yourself to our order and our cause. Our order exists to locate, secure, and protect dangerous technologies. Humanity cannot be trusted with the means to destroy itself. I know who we I am, right? not allow another apocalypse. Greetings, civilian. That makes sense. Hello, sir. I'm busy talking to this fine man. Will you fuck off? Lord. Are you recruiting new initiates? That is within the scope of Paladin Romani's directives. It takes more than just asking, of course. You would have to prove yourself. If you are sincere about wishing to join our ranks, you would have to earn the approval of the officers here, including me. Is that why you're here? Another hopeful dreaming of service to the Brotherhood? More than that, because believe me, you knew my skills. Victoria. I can think of no greater honor than to join the Brotherhood. If you mean that, then you are right. But if that's sarcasm, I recommend you stow it. No, I, I generally want to. Normally, join the I'd stick you with the other hopefuls until we decide whether you're worthy. But if you're serious about joining us, you've got good timing. This There's guy's something you could do for me that would help the order and demonstrate your qualities as a candidate. And what's that? We've had a number of civilians show up here at Fort Atlas asking for one thing or another from the Brotherhood. People are afraid or want something or are looking to involve us in local squabbles. Civilian outreach is not my specialty. Everything There's too much left to do to secure this, this facility. If you're really interested in helping, save my time. Fort Atlas is in Interview the petitioners, find they out what they want, and report well. back to me. All right, sounds good.
My patience is finite, outsider. I really don't care. Well, never mind. I guess I don't have any questions. Don't just think. Talk to the petition. Is that clear? Uh, yes, I can do that. right. Don't make me regret giving you the opportunity. Conduct yourself properly, and we can consider putting you forward as an initiate candidate. Fighting out there. Uh, candidate. All right. Ain't no kind of life wrapped up in the meadow. I gotta speak to these guys. You better have something useful to say to me. Oh, can't even come to me himself? What, he needs to requisition some more armor polish? All right, all right, keep it cool, Sean. Yeah, because believe it or not, he actually so, got something important to do. What's he got to say to me? Would you tell me more about yourself? I'm a scavenger mainly. Always been pretty good with a set of tools, so I do all right for myself, scrapping and fixing things. I trade what I find or fix with the folks at Foundation when I need something I can't get otherwise. Mostly, yeah, they probably hate me. I like to be left alone. <laughs> tell, me. tell me what the problem the is. The problem is that a couple of these brotherhood clowns showed up and took a bunch of my stuff at gunpoint. Now I'm a peaceful man. I really am. I sure wasn't equipped to deal with armed thugs requisitioning the little I've managed to put together for myself. That is kind of bullshit. The Raiders. I like the quiet life. I don't need much, and I need trouble less. But after this, oh, I get it. I came here to give the Brotherhood a chance to make things right. Else maybe I go to Crater and start doing things their way. At least they don't pretend to be the good guys. Fair point, fair point. I imagine the Brotherhood would object to a collection of blood samples. First though, I had some more questions. All right, what else did you want? I'm sure they were brotherhood. Don't blow me off like I'm making this up. These people have a responsibility. I'm not. I'm just making this. sure. They had the power armor, and they said they were brotherhood. Sorry, I didn't make sure to ask proof when they had me at gunpoint. Listen, I don't have much, but what's mine is mine, and these people took that from me. The brotherhood I pretends understand. like they're noble, but then they let this happen. In their name, raiders don't act like something they're not, and at least the gangs defend their own. Oh, we do defend our own, but it's because of it. Then tell them, and get them to do something about it. Don't worry, I will, I will. The go fight is just person. beginning. Stay disciplined. Yes, yes. The old world has so much to teach us. Why didn't I see it before? Hello, Tali Lang. Hey, yeah, you. Who do I need to talk to around here? We should spend less you know, time about the guns. Time here. You don't look like one of these brotherhood yahoos. Name's Tally Lane. What's your deal? Uh, who, me? Nah, 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 nah. Cool as a cryo grenade, me. Definitely. Yeah, you don't sound like it. I just told you, dummy. Tally Lane. Just uh, another chick trying to make it in the wasteland. You know? Nice Shin sent me to talk to you. Shin? He the scary guy with a stick up his butt? Alright, shoot. She's kind of cute, Loki. The California members show no signs of being Come on, Tally, trust me. I'm friends with Crater. Hey, Ixnay on the air crate! You try to blow this for me? Listen, Boy, my doctor. gang could really use those guns, so don't screw this up for me. Hold on. Anybody asks. Fucking asshole, what are you like doing? Axe, I'm trying to talk okay? to this lady and you're trying to walk through me. Hold on, this fucking asshole is getting in the way. Look hey! You don't look Sorry, um... Uh, yeah. yeah, that's right. Now all the talk in the area is about... For self, no meat. I want to ask you Why some not? things. Her pie with every dinner declined. Be honest, Mr. Why don't you want those guns? Hey, you calling me a liar? I'll, I, I mean, 
already told you. Mm hmm. You're not a raider, are you? What? Yeah, I know you heard. Yeah. Oh, um, it's pretty scary. We'd sure feel a lot safer with some of those hot. Yeah, you're a raider. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I need to swap more weapons for the raid. I don't believe you. Each day in service of the brother. Jukebox ain't even working. What the fuck? The Brotherhood would object to the collection of blood. Each day in service of the Brotherhood. Make it quick if you would. My bones ain't getting any younger. Well, yeah. now look at you. You with these steel brother fellas? I've been waiting a good spell to talk to them. What is it you do? Farming such as it is. Got a patch ain't barely more than skull. <laughs> but it's mine. And I manage. Look what the rad roach dragged in. Longer than I'd prefer. These steel types ain't half disorganized right now, it looks like. Heard the news about these fellas and reckon I'd better go see him. Ain't the only one neither, I see. Mm -hmm. Well, it's about time. I'd like to die of old age waiting on him. Name's Art Knapp. So, what's this night fella sent you for? Military grade hardware. I was asked to find out what you want from the Brotherhood. Um, uh, is your farm in danger with you away? Got seed in the ground right now. I ain't yet seen a raider willing to scrabble in the soil for seeds. So I reckon it'll get by till I'm back. True. Tell me about yourself. Ain't much to tell. Been a farmer one way or another all my life. A daddy before me and so on. Set up in these parts after I heard it was safe again. Turned out there's plenty of raiders fixing to take what ain't nailed down. Ain't much use belly aching about it. But neither am I just gonna roll over and let some bullies take what's mine. True, true. I was asked to find out what you want from the Brotherhood. A fair trade's what I want. I've heard stories about these steel types back in the day. <laughs> they was going around taking things from folks. Really? For the cause, they said. Get out of the way, I'm trying to talk to them. Like that don't make them raiders too. Well, I ain't got much, and I already got to worry about raiders. So, I reckon it's better to make a deal up front. My farm don't produce much. I got some extra, and I expect they'll have a use for it. In return, I want these I want steel boys and girls to keep raiders away from my farm. Heard a lot of noise they was on our side. No, I'm so, talking to this person. Why do people gotta get in my way? Move, woman. I am. I'll bring them your offer, Art. Take care. Fair enough. Can't expect more than that. Thank you. The you take care too. Of I gotta talk to Check. this doctor. Did Hello, doctor. Yes. Something I can help you with? I am waiting to speak with a Brotherhood representative. I have no interest in small talk with strangers. Ashley Knight Shin asked me to speak with you. The severe gentleman in the power armor, yes. Dr. Edgar Blackburn at your service. And what did Knight Shin want to know? He asked me to find out what you want from the Brotherhood. Uh, tell me about yourself. I am sure you have more interesting things to do than listen to a poorly socialized wasteland doctor talk about himself. In short, I trained in multiple specialties before the war and had a brief career as a research scientist prior to the bombs dropping. Finding myself fortunate enough to survive, I have continued my research, such as it is. Now I focus on the health of the people of Appalachia. Please do not ask me to examine any strange growths. I am not that kind of doctor. <laughs> I know. Uh, he asked me to find out what you want from the Brotherhood. I had heard that the Brotherhood possessed advanced technology. As a doctor and a scientist, this was of great interest. 
My research is always in need of equipment and materials rather difficult to obtain by scavenging and bartering. I came to see if an arrangement could be made, but from what I can see of their operations, they are as yet still in too much disarray. Yes. Given the state of my fellow supplicants, I would hypothesize that their needs likely outweigh my own. Let's go to hypothesis. I'll pass that along to Night Shin right away. Thank you. Be well. Wonder if this will be enough to see those raiders gone. Come on, let's look around, Something see if there's I anything I'm missing. In these lockers, nope. Some military fatigues. The efficiency of Brotherhood response to visitors is lacking. No oh, shit. I got a little underground thing. Faces like a tomb. All right, let's go talk to report back to Shane. Hello. The only have you finished the task I gave you? This place is kind of a dump. <sighs> I've spoken to the petitioners. I'm ready to report. Good. Let's get this done. I have the list from their arrival. Give me the high-level overview. Very well. The elders have so much to teach us. I hope I'll Sean Hawkman was robbed by people claiming to be Brotherhood. Impossible. Whatever happened, it was not us. Happened matters. What matters is he believes it. You should help him out. That sounds like something Paladin Romani would say. But what he believes is of no concern of ours. Yes, it is because man, we are not involved, and it should remain that way. Give me your next report. He needs to know, or people are going to be against you and the whole organization. So yes, it is important. Charlie Ling wants to buy guns from you. No. We are not arms dealers. I think she, she's a raider, actually. Don't ask how I know. Is she? We would never have given her weapons. This only reinforces that. If you intend to be an initiate, I can't have any doubts about your loyalties. Don't ask will not be an acceptable answer in the future. Very well. Moving on. Uh, Dr. Black... Burn was looking for supplies for his research. The Brotherhood is not a charity, and our mission does not cover providing civilians with equipment to pursue their personal interests, unless the doctor intends to provide that research to the Brotherhood exclusively, and under our supervision, he will get nothing. He actually said other people seem to need you more. That shows commendable discipline. Scribe Valdez may have interest if he returns, but if so, he is her problem. That appears to resolve the matter on our end. Okay. Next report. Our Nap wants to trade a share of his crops for protection from raiders. We are not mercenaries here to serve as guards for anyone with some goods to trade in payment. Should you help him, girls? It sounds like a fair deal to me. That's irrelevant. The Brotherhood cannot simply be hired out to every farmer and homesteader. We have our own concerns. Makes I sense. believe that accounts for everyone. Against my initial judgment, you have shown that you can take orders and make yourself useful for the Never Brotherhood. The you need to lose those fight. soft civilian instincts, but I will make note of your assistance in my report to Paladin Romani. Thank Should you. you wish to join our ranks, I will not oppose your enlistment. I grant you permission, provisionally, to enter the compound proper. Go to our scribe Valdez. You will need her support as well if you want Paladin Romani's attention. Very well. Thank you very much. This better be worth it. Be vigilant, outsider. This will be very well. Gone. I'll take some of this, though. 
I gave you a job to do. Unless you're done. Get to it. I am. Go home. Let us take care of things here. Uh, excuse no me. Approved. Man, Brotherhood Round Table. What's that? This is a secure area. Treat it as such. I will. Well, why are you following me all of a sudden? Well, let me activate all these plans I got here. The Raiders, the tools. If anything tries to attack, we'll be ready. Let's go talk to Scribe of Elders. Wait, before I do that, um, what was his name? Night Shin. I don't want to see if it, that's who I'm thinking of. Night Shin. Daniel Shin. Voice actor Tom Choi. Uh, no, it's someone else. His voice sounds just like the guy from Good Doctor. Like, let me see. What's his name? Sounds just like him. Nicholas Gonzalez. That's who it sounds like. If you don't know who that is, search him up. It's from uh, The Good Doctor. He's my favorite character. Don't mind. Hello, civilian. I don't mean to be rude, but what exactly are you doing up here? I want to join up. Night said, Night Shin said you may need some. Man, I might need some help. Oh, a prospective initiate. The Night Shin sent you. And I guess we're both in luck. Paladin Romani makes the call on new recruits, but the Knight and I have some influence. It just so happens I'm in need of someone to help me out on a little mission. If you're interested, I can bring you along and put you to work. Do a good job, and I'll send a recommendation your way. How about it? Sounds good. What is this mission exactly? Our new base is littered with old technology. But there's something in particular I want to investigate. It's down in the bowels of this place, a, a part of Atlas that we've cornered off. I'm not keen on going alone, so... I'd like some backup. Alright. Deal. Glad we can come to an agreement. Any questions before we start? Hmm. Are there a few more questions? Alright. Um. What kind of thing. Nor uh, what, is this kind of thing normal for a scribe? Ideally? Yes, actually. In practice? Not at all. We're supposed to be the lore keepers, preserving old technology for the betterment of today. Mm. Instead, I spend all my time soldering wires on busted comms equipment or tightening screws on tracking scanners. Oh, that sounds my way. This investigation will be a breath of fresh air. It's what being a scribe should be about. All right. You don't know, sound thrilled with your role. Can I do it? Yes. But it's not my life's calling. Believe it or not, I didn't choose to be a scribe. I was born into it. My parents chose this life for me. I've gotten used to it, but it isn't mine. I... It's kind of sad. <laughs> Night Shin would throw a fit if he heard just how unprofessional I was now. Um, we should get back to business. Sorry. Business only. Is this woman freaking walking around? Go away. Can I? Why not just bring one of the initiates? Normally I would, but today you came along. We have a lot of capable initiates, but we could always use more. Handle yourself well, and I'll be happy to vouch for you. Uh, it'd be nice if you were actually looking at me. Uh, let's go back to discussing the mission. Sure. Ready to go? 
I'm ready. Great. Unfortunately, I need to finish up a few things here. Head downstairs and I'll meet you in a bit. Order, Very well. Uh, protection. I have everything I need here. The hell is all of this? It's the same stuff that Overseer Keep had fighting on the board. Feeder pump? Oh, that's what you guys are working on? Hmm. I wonder what legacy I'll leave to the squirrels. Interesting. Staying safe out there. Yep. Alright, let's head down there. Ad Victoria. Yes. What's up, robot? I see what's down here. Why? Oops. Why does it say zero out of zero? On recording. Let me just restart in this app. Because this app is fucking acting up for some reason. There it goes. Why? <laughs> Uh, all right. What's up? Good, you're here. So, of course. How do you feel about reading comprehension? I was hoping to start out by sweeping the area for documentation left behind from before the war. Oh, it's gonna be uh, annoying. Reading paperwork, yuck. It's a necessary step. The files from upstairs led us here. But this area is relatively unexplored. The scientists could have recorded information that we need to know before we start examining the machine itself. But yeah. enough about that. I'd like to get started. Let's head downstairs and see what we can turn up. Very well. Um. Just look at this place. So much tech in one spot. I can't wait to dig in. The hell? No I shit in here. Uh, oh, we have to go down this way, my bad. You coming? Oh god. Please don't start glitching around. I hope this mission ain't glitchy, because I'm gonna get pissed. Like, fucking... Reading the Fort 79. Oh, heck, all that's man. I'll take all that. Thank you. Well, there's bugs. I hear them. Yep, right right there. Thank you. Here I think it's all of them for now. Let's see what this says. Atlas decommissioned report three. Um, I know that's the last one I was supposed to grab, but thank you. This must be Dr. Hammond, Atlas's lead scientist. We recovered some of his hollow tapes and logs in our initial sweep of the area. This tech down here is his handiwork. What and the fuck? He couldn't fuck? give it up, even after the war. Can you help me? Proper burial. Here we go. Uh, I use chainsaw. <laughs> Close one. Yeah. What does this take? Here's one. Try to see what. Well, it just has condition. I don't actually have like a ammo or anything. Hmm. Oh, 
go. And then we got one more over here. Oh, Here's the documents. Let's check and see if there's anything else besides just those. Before we leave, oh, some radix, I think. Yep, I can grab it. Thank you. Minor hat. Let's see what's over here. It's first aid. What does this take us? Oh, it just takes us back up here. Short assault rifle. Some protectrons that were beaten. Another metal box. Anything interesting up here? All this ammo. It's back here. Oh, uh, it's the upper section of this area. Some new cola. Hello, ma'am. Oh shit, that's not what I meant to do. Back around. Bye bye, my bye. Back. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to leave. Dang, bro, this place is huge. All this. Atlas Central Processing, CPU Management Era. Power is 150 above expected levels and 350% required levels. Damn. Look at all of these logs. Mix results. Present results. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. I think this is good. Let's talk for a sec. Hold on, I'm gonna read all these documents. Maybe.
Oh, right here. Number one. Lieutenant Marcus. Or Merckx. 823-277. Following the missile of Dr. Isaac Himmel, LTC Oberlin has tasked me with overseeing the shutdown of the Atlas project. This report outlines the state of the project as of its as of its termination. While showing promise in its final trials, the project still has major stability issues and considerable additional effort would be required to create a consistently operational device. The works tri working trials impacted the operation of several key components, including the miniaturized ion focus and primary induction coil. Coolant intake pumps our lot of concern was the enormous stress put on the coolant intake pumps and possible defects discovered in the release valves. Following the dismissal, wait, I just read that. Okay. Let's read the second one. Okay, that one. Ion focus. Our experiment with a compact ion focus was has left it vulnerable to strong feedback during device initiation. It's right the test, but the design should be reconsidered before any future is attempted. <laughs> induction coil. The induction coil suffers the same feedback. Oh, fuck. Sorry, I got a cup of burp. The induction coil suffers the same feedback susceptibility as the ion focus. Repeated usage causes a significant variance in the flux distribu distributions throughout the coil. Redesign of this device also needs consideration if it is to be used in any future trials as a potential risk of frying the coil could require sub substantial capital and replacement parts. Damn. Core processing units. While firmware updates have Proven useful in troubleshooting important aspects of Atlas's operational capability. The sheer processing power required to execute the necessary components requires special order CPU. This CPU came at great cost to the operation, and numerous com computing breakdowns during trials, trial runs led the leadership to question its long term stability as well. Fuck this reporting thing. <laughs> A single use of the Atlas device requires a huge intake of coolant to keep the machine operational. Pumping this coolant through the device during operation puts a roaring amount of stress on its pipes, pumps, and valves. Repeated usage testing has revealed signs of cracks and breakage throughout. throughout. Furthermore, the hasty construction of the machine has led to structural flaws that could lead to high pressure buildup in the intake points, which could have destructive results if not addressed. These flaws could have been averted with careful design protocols, but the pressures of the war overrode these concerns. I would be remiss not to recommend it in an excess of caution when proceeding with future products. Alright. Interesting, interesting. That should be enough to start. Let me take a look. Atlas decommission report. Hmm. So the project was in bad shape after all? Yes. Oh, I knew it sounded too good to be true. Fascinating. Wow. This is some seriously classified stuff that I just let you read, isn't it? I wasn't supposed to show you any of this. Oh well. I'm not here to pray, just want to help. That's a mature attitude to take. I really appreciate that. I'm just here to help There's you out. There's only so much I can tell you, good job. I'll share what I Careless. feel is relevant. Atlas wasn't exactly an observatory before the war. That was just a front. The military conducted research here. Pretty advanced research. We're down here to investigate and see what's worth salvaging for the Brotherhood. Uh, makes sense, makes sense. Whoa, 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 whoa. Looting is absolutely not what we're doing here. Everything uh, yes, that we remove from this substructure is going with me up to my lab to be cataloged and analyzed. 
Now, let's follow up on some leads from this. Sounds like looting. I'd like to do a quick inspection of some key components that should be nearby. There's probably a terminal around here. If it's still running, we can do a Fire. diagnostics test. All right, we're on the terminal. That will tell us about some of the less accessible hardware. The report mentioned that the machine's intake pump was under a lot of pressure. Let's find the release valve for that and give it a spin. See what happens. Yep. Finally, the lower core on this level should have a wiring box. Why don't we take a glance at that to get an idea of the electrical hookups? The diagnostics test can tell us the state of some key components that we won't be able to test manually. Keep an eye on the state of each component and we'll want to look into them after the initial check. Makes sense, makes sense. How do I know if the release valve works properly? The release valve is an emergency mechanism that can relieve pressure on the intake pipes if they come under stress. If all is well, we'll just be able to turn it and nothing out of the ordinary will happen. Hopefully. Should be a simple inspection. You can have point, but I'll be looking over your shoulder the whole way. Take note of the details, and we'll discuss how it goes after. Very well, very well. Alright, we are on right here. <laughs> Interesting. Central, the CPU is defunct, intake valves ruptured, iron focus is misaligned, flux restoration detected, so it's all bad. <laughs> okay. Go test the valve from the sensors. Or oh, no, it's the wiring. Looks like we've got the wiring company. looks shredded. Likely they'll work with resonance critters. Probably. Ow. 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 You okay? <laughs> Fucking pussy. But you barely did. Looks like you about died. Alright. Wires are shredded. Let's see how the valve is. Oh, motherfucker. Let's talk. That scared the fuck out of me, dude. Oh, fuck. Make me shit myself. Alright, let's go over the inspection results. The so diagnostics far. check revealed some issues. Flux no disruption shit, everything is broke. Loop. Intake valves ruptured. And the ion focus? Misaligned. Misaligned. Problematic to say the least. Next, we have the release valve. That went. Well, what was your assessment? <laughs> it exploded. It certainly did. I'm going to mark that down as bad. Yeah. Last but not least, the wiring. The wires were... Completely shoot through. Mole rats are the prime suspects. Yep. I think the warm reception they gave us also points to that. Okay. Well, sorry about the pop quiz. But in general, you're handling yourself well so far. Thank you. I was expecting a test. Nobody does, outside of a classroom. That's why I love to evaluate new prospects this way. If I'm going to recommend you to Paladin Romani, I need to know you're serious. Can you pay attention? Think on your feet? Yes. If you can, you were in my favor. If you can't, then, well, maybe I reconsider my recommendation. Please don't. I'm worried about what our inspection turned up. There are a few parts I'd like to extract and examine in my lab. There's the pressure gauge, the core processor, and the ion focus. They should be upstairs. There's a lot I can learn from examining them if we can pull them out and get them back to my lab in decent condition. Yes, yes. I want to take some notes on the core up there, so I'm going to leave the parts removal to you. Each oh, extraction will be a little different, but in general, you'll want to use a light touch. I want the components in good condition, so please be careful. Any questions, yeah, or are you ready to get started? Not really. I'm ready. I'm counting on you. Let's see what you can do. Alright. 
Let's go upstairs. Alright, we got a vowel over here. Oh, this is the ion focus. I see. Where is it supposed to focus? Up? Inside its container, a miniaturized ion focus sits nestled in a bundle of tubes and wires, many of which are attached. How we go? That's Gently unhook each tube and wire from the device and lift it out. Are we good? Nothing bad happened. Alright, where's the next? Oh, upstairs. Up here. Up here. Okay, let's see what's over here. Oh, that's right here. That's the pressure gauge. A gauge. Unscrew the screws through the rust and remove the gauge. I'll use that strength. There we go. Very good. And then one more back over here. Power down and eject the CPU. Oh, I thought of one more thing. Can you pick up the induction coil up there on the machine core? Yes, yes I can. What? Oh, I missed. Let me go all the way around here. Inside the container is an induction coil with two thick wires attached to it. One red, one blue. A low hum in the sound static surrounds the device and the wires crackle. How do we go about checking it? Alright, let's do this one. I'll hook both wires and slide the coil out. Ow! What's that? I don't know about that hot. Mysterious component. A mysterious canister sits before you, pulsing with an eerie glue glow. How we go about extracting it? Trying to lift it out of its container. That doesn't sound good. Uh oh. <laughs> Back at it. Glad that's over. Hostile Yeah, sorry about that. I did not expect that to happen of all things. 
So let me grab all this ammo real quick. Yes. Yeah, all this. Thank you. <laughs> Whatever you did up there, the security system sure didn't like it. Thanks for the backup. I doubt I could have handled that on my own. Now that that's over with, let me take a look at what you've collected. Some serum or something. The pressure gauge looks like it's in good condition. The core processor is pristine. Good work on that. The it's ion crazy. focus looks usable. Impressive. The induction coil seems fine. That's a relief. And what is this? Hmm. This is... Is this ultrasite? <laughs> Fascinating. This looks like some kind of compact power source. Possibly. None of the documents, none of the terminals said anything about this. Did this power the whole machine? I'm assuming it was all. They say ultracite has a limited potential. The fuel of the future. I'd heard the stories, but to think I could hold so much energy in my hands like this? Project Atlas may be beyond our power to repair, but we might have something here. I expected the machine to use a small reactor's worth of energy. They condensed that into a container I can hold in my hands. I could do a lot with this. You were a big help. I'm sure you have what it takes to be an initiate. And soon. Here, oh, yeah. take this letter to Paladin Romani. She'll make the final call on letting you into the Brotherhood, but my wreck may tip the scales. <laughs> I'm Hopefully. going back upstairs to take a look at these components. I need to catalog our findings. If nothing else, this ultrasite battery has piqued my interest. There's a lot I could learn from reverse engineering it. <laughs> right. Oh, I'm giving you access to my private terminal, too. It has all the logs we recovered from when we moved in. After what we just went through, I think you deserve to know more about Project Atlas. Take a look if you get some free time. Sounds good. Thanks Sounds again good. for your help. And good luck with the Paladin. Thank you. You're a sweet person. Very nice. All right, you. Fact finder. Plus one. Hold on, I'm trying to read this. Two per, plus one projectiles, 25% damage, 150% hit fire. Damn, boy, I'm keeping that shit. Hell oh yeah. Fuck this. Fuck that shit. You can keep that. I don't want this. I mean, I keep pressing the wrong button. Press that. Because I'm used to Fallout 4 being the Q. Oh, this takes 45 also. Well, fuck you too. I'll drop this. I want... This. No, no, motherfucker. I want... This. Yeah. And then, which one is it? C? Yeah. Yay. I'm not gonna use the fact finder as a weapon. Prove your merits to Paladin Ra Ramani. Alright. Let's go talk. We got some stim packs, pre fed water. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, boy. Thank you very much. Oh, this is back to the room where they're all gone now. I have my eye on you. Oh, fuck off. Yeah, I can't open this way. It. Link, the chain that binds. That is what keeps this order together. Where? I don't even know who you are. Everyone where you are. This is my place. Yeah, I swear he sounds like that uh, guy. 
Hello. Steer the paladin. I'd like to talk to you, please. Ah, you must be the one I've been hearing about. Paladin Leila Romani. What do you need? Um, oh, hold on. Sorry about you. I forgot I was going to read the, the note that she gave me. So I'm curious. We should spend less time mourning for defiance and more time here, where Appalachia's future will be decided. See what it says. Someone returned their gun to the wrong place again. Oh my god, will you shut up? Do I need to call a seminar on Ooh, these people? I hereby strongly recommend the bearer of the snow footage. It's madness. Another nuke. We arrived in Appalachia not a moment too soon. Mm, thank you. That's a good rec recommendation. All right. Now I'm ready to talk. Really? Ah. As a paladin, I am the commander of the first expeditionary force to Appalachia, and by extension, the ranking officer here at Fort Atlas. Mm hmm. Well, have you heard about me? I've received a report from Knight Shin detailing your assistance in his duties. He has given his approval to your consideration as an initiate. Word around the fort is that you've been working with Scribe Valdez as well. Yes, I have. She has other recommendations. Well, between this and the report I have from Knight Shin, we can discuss you becoming a member of our order. Consider it carefully. Do you wish to join our ranks? Hell yeah! I'd like to join if you have me. With the recommendations of Knight Shin and Scribe Valdez, I'm willing to consider you for membership. But first, I need to see how you handle yourself without direct supervision. In order to be effective in our operations here, we need to establish positive relations with the people of Appalachia. If we make, make sense, them make see sense. us as a beneficial presence in the area, it will be much easier to secure cooperation in the future. We have reports of feral ghoul attacks on traders and travelers in the southwest forest region, indicative of a nest of some kind. I want you to clear it out. Very well. Why haven't I had you some other initiates go this army? Well, I'm not in the habit of explaining my priorities to would-be recruits. You may have noticed there's a lot of work to be done here. You doing it accomplishes the mission and adds another member to our ranks. Two birds, one stone. Makes sense, makes sense. Your reward is that I consider you worthy to join our ranks. Damn. Limited intel suggests this is a milk run, perfect for a new recruit. But you're not wrong. We don't know the level of threat. Take this as an additional precaution. What'd you give me? A stem pack? I'm fucking really. Well, thank you. What's in. Where is this nest? We don't know. Our initial reports on the attacks came from a family of farmers, the Putnams, that we passed on the way into the region. I think their sons were rather starstruck when we showed up. I almost expected the older boy to follow us when we left. We should you should start your search there. They may know more. You can find them at the old Lewis and Sons farming supply. Sounds good, sounds good. I think I have everything I need. Very well. Do this, and you will be one of us. With all the rights and responsibilities of a full member of the Brotherhood of Steel. Ad Victorium. Ad Victorium, sister.
Oh, that's Edge Victorian man, even fucking mean. I am a link in the chain Ed of binds. That is Vic what keeps this order together. Torium. What does that even mean? For victory. Used by, as a battle cry by the Romans. Oh. Basically a way of saying for victory. Who's there? Uh, it's hey you. There. Did you need something? I oh, gotta See go. See you around. Bye bye. Oh wait. Oh, I need some protection. I have oh, everything I need here. All right, let's head the fuck out. Go to Lewis and Sons Farm, which I think I've been there before. It sounds familiar. Sounds familiar. It's been like two hours. Oh well. well. How's that? Lord Atlas is in good hands. Nightshin's trained us well. That's good, that's good. Ah, oh, here's your landing pad for the... For the, uh... Thingy. I forgot what they call it. Alright. Let's see. Somewhere down here. Right? Oh, down over this way. Damn, it's that far away. I think God, I've been there before. Alright, I'll be right back though. I'm gonna take a little break. And I'll be back. After this loads. Alright, be right back. All right, I'm back. Cop book squatter. You know what? Oops. Oh, well, it says done. I don't know what I did, but okay. Now let's go talk to these guys. Oh, yep. I remember this. I did another mission that was over here. Hello. Oh, you got a dog over here. Oh, Badger. His face is all torn up and he looks skinny as fuck though. You can see his spine. That is not healthy, dude. You need to eat more. Please tell me they're not dead. I wish I could take this dog with me and have him... Have him be with me. Did the game freeze? So the wheel's not turning. Uh, please tell me it didn't crash. I think it did though. Bruh. This is bullshit. Yeah, I'ma close the game because why am I still hearing the music when I just shut it? Bruh.
you go. Let's relaunch it real quick. <clears throat> Why is it not showing? Now it's not showing up on recording. What the fuck? What the fuck? There he goes. Now you guys can see. Dumb maze. <laughs> Every time I see that, it makes me laugh. <sighs> Yay. Yeah. Not be a place. We mean I couldn't be a place. There's some telling me something really? You put it right over where my base is at. What a fucking dick you. It must be a popular spot. Fucking drag off. Alright, go talk to these people. This poor Dalgo. What are you looking at? Something. There you go, that's more like it. Huh? Whoa, 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 whoa there. Uh, Mom, Dad! Who do you think you are barging in here? George! Hold it, stranger. No funny moves. Hold on, I ain't gonna hurt you. Sorry to barge in, but I'm on a mission. A mission to get your head blown off! Oh, Lord, George. Uh, put it down. Whew. All right, stranger. Come over here and let's find out what's going on. Thank you. Appreciate for not shooting me. It's a nice pla little place you got here, though. Hello. Now, you need to be more careful just waltzing into people's homes. It's a good way to end up with more lead in you than it's healthy. Oh, I think I'm Carol be Putnam. Okay. This is my husband, George. Now, won't you tell us why you're barging in here and maybe we can all be friendly when you don't. Hold on, that. Shit, can I sit down somewhere, please? That'd be nice. Can I, like, sit with you? Can I, can I, no. Sit right here then. Or not, because I can't, can't move. Never mind. <laughs> My family can't sit backwards, and I can't sit with you apparently. So I would just stand right here. My bad. Now you need to. I'm Carol. All right. The Brotherhood of Steel sent me to ask about the ghouls, ghoul attacks in the area. Those would be the military types in the heavy armor that came through here recently, right? I'm the one that told them about those attacks. Those mm. Brotherhood guys are so cool. Wait, are you recruiting? I, I want to sign up. Their gear was pretty fascinating. Settle down, boys. The adults is talking. Yeah. So you want to know about them goals? Mm-hmm. You, your, bo your boys both want to join the Brotherhood? Lord, don't get them started. Oh, oh, yeah, the, the lasers, the power armor, they are the coolest thing I have ever seen. I don't know Marty, about the lasers, you barely but, do yeah. your chores now, and you get confused by the generator. What good would you be? Yeah, hey, well, no. at least I'm not a shrimp like you. Uh, I can pay you to get these two out of my hair. George! 
I'm just kidding. You boys know we love you. <sighs> yeah, sounds like it. Carol, would you let your sons join the motherhood, Brotherhood of Steel? Now, I don't like it, but they're adults. Close enough, I guess. And I know they're bound to want to do their own thing, but the farm needs work. We can't do it alone. If one of them wants to go, well, now, George and I'll just have to live with it. But you ain't taking both of my boys, though. Makes sense. Makes sense. Ooh, me, 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 me. All right, what about George? Careful, George. You heard the wife. She says one of them can go, then one can go, I suppose. Okay. I'd prefer you kept it that way, then. I think I could be a real asset to you, though. I'm good with machines, and I work hard. Heck, I'm the one who repaired the bots outside. Ah, forget about him. The Brotherhood's tough, not a bunch of nerds. I'd be perfect. Actually, you'd be surprised. There Let are some it be, nerds. boys. Some of them are nerds. <sighs> Enough about that. Fine by me. All right. Paula didn't raw money. Sent me to find out if you knew or where the gold tax are coming from. Can't say for certain. We got a suspicion, though. A lot of the sightings and attacks have been from folks traveling the highway to Flatwoods. They come out of the hills, northwest of the old creamery. Mm. And the only thing out that way is what's left of the Orwell orchards. Could be the source of the things. You gonna wipe them out when you find them? Sounds like I'd be helping you out if I did. Maybe there's a reward in some of it. Uh, any idea how many goals there there be? Not sure. More than a few, less than an army. From what folks have said, if you're going in alone, even a few can swarm you before you even realize what's happening. Be careful out there. Sounds like a do. Aren't you on a mission from the Brotherhood? You're doing it for them, not for us. She's right, of course, but. That doesn't mean we're not grateful for the risk you're taking. And now, now here, wherever you find ghouls, you're, you're going to find radiation. Well, we can spare this. Some radix, thank you. The plants clear the place out entirely. Good to hear. You'd be doing everybody in the area a favor. That's for sure. Safe roads mean safer traders. Good for everyone. The Brotherhood would definitely be making friends if you pull this off. Yeah. Uh, I want to ask you some other questions. Is it just for me, you George, and the boys? Marty's the overeager one. Colin's the quiet one. There's also the robots outside, of course. I got them helping with the chores. <laughs> Nerd. This guy's boys. a dick, too. Knock it off. So, us? Think Robots of it. and the dogs, I guess. <laughs> and enough firepower to discourage pests. Huh. All right. Thank Just you. try not I'm to startle going. us if you drop by again. George has a hair trigger with that shotgun. I didn't mean to. But I am going to talk to Colin here. So he actually seems like a good recruit. I really would like to join the Brotherhood. I know I'm not as strong as my brother, but... You gotta have a need for somebody smart, right? Plus, I can rate with him. I've never, I've always been a skinny, weak guy, and but I've always been kind of nerdy. So you say you're smart. Smarter than Marty, anyway. No offense to my brother, but if he can't solve a problem with his muscles, he's stumped. I read anything I can find. Most of the work in machinery around the farm is my handiwork. I'm the one who got the bots running. The Brotherhood can't be all brawn and no brains, right? True. It's very right. Plus, your brother. Your brother's a little too immature. Sorry to say. Do you think you can handle combat? I'd be lying if I said I wouldn't be nervous. Won't know until it happens, I suppose. But I'm willing to risk it if it means getting out of here. Hey, man. Even though you're nerdy, it doesn't mean you can't be good at combat.
All right, it's a big decision. Colin, are you sure you want to join the Brotherhood? I'm sure. This farm isn't the place for me. The Brotherhood could change the world. It's where I belong. Can you Plus make I me a recruit? I could try. Honestly, Colin, I'm not sure. I'm going to recommend you, though, if you can help me. All right, that seems fair enough. I'll do my best to earn that recommendation, I promise. Are you sure about me, though? I know my brother wants this, too, and I heard Mom. Only one of us can go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. You're my pick, Colin. I want you to come with me. Really? That's incredible. Thank you. You go on ahead. I, I need to talk to my folks and say goodbye and that kind of thing. I'll meet you at Orwell Orchards. Very well. I don't know if the kid has muscles, but I think we need more brain than muscles, to be honest. Take some of this stuff, though. <laughs> Trying to get copyright for that song, but oh well. I don't want to give a fuck. Ba -da -da. I'm gonna head out. And there's the kitty from the when we first started the game. Pretty boy. I gotta get finishing though after the, after this because I'm getting hungry. Let's see how far away is it? I think that's way up there. All right. I can TP to the player's camp and I'll just walk straight over there. It's not that far away. And y'all need to feed your dog more because he's skinny as fuck. Hey, Bubby. My kitty cat. Hello. Don't mind me, I was using you as teleportation. They're building a little base out here. So. Let's do this. Hello. Okay. My big baby. I'm not really too worried about the radiation right now. Lucky hits the lottery recording. Let me see. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Bennett Orwell, we of the West Virginia Lucky Hits Lottery Company are pleased to inform you of the result of our November lottery game, held on the 10th of this month. Your names are attached to Lucky Hits. Lotto ticket 59, 28, 42, 88. We are overjoyed to tell you that this ticket was November's lucky lottery winner. It's the largest single month game in Lucky Hits history. You are hereby approved to receive an immediate cash payment in the amount of $300,000. Mr. and Mrs. Orwell, congratulations. A local Lucky Hits prize representative will be arriving at your residence on November 30th, just a few short days away. To avoid any unnecessary mix-ups, please contact our headquarters as soon as possible to confirm your home address. Now, we advise that it's in your best interest to keep this news from the public's attention. We value all of our Lucky Hits customers, and we can't wait to hear from you. Once again, congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Orwell, winners of West Virginia's largest ever lottery game. Damn, look at all that. Yay. Okay, that building is done. Explosive tank. 
I thought he was supposed to meet me. I haven't seen him yet. Oh, there's a dead person. I'll tell you who he is. Okay, no way to get in there. Ooh, that's a radi some radiation right there. Alright, let's see what's up in this house. Another corpse. Another corpse. Oh, must be down in there. Ooh, let's see. See what's down in here. Damn, this one's really old. Hello, this one's broken, so yeah, this is definitely aware of that. Bomb shelter. I don't even know if we have a bomb shelter anywhere nearby. And there's a guy right here. Hello? Hey, you're here. Seemed like this was the place. Yep. I had to sneak past everything outside, and then I heard some noises deeper in here, so I just hold up to wait for you. I hope that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Keep your head on straight. Follow my lead, watch my back, and we'll both get through this just fine. Don't worry, I will. I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Let's do this. I got notes here. I got a whole golf course. Hmm. And got a power cycle and uh turn that off. And they had some sort of projector run. Let's see where that at that is. Golf club. I'm taking the golf balls because they're very useful. I got good resources. Alright. See what's over here. You ready? Hope you are. Oh shit. There's a couple more. Let me go through these, grab all this. This really hurts. Bitch. Oh god. This is so much worse than I imagined. Why can't I go to the top one? Ow, bitch.
Okay. Ow, bitch. Are we safe now? For now. Hope that hurt though. Uh, I guess switch out my comp. Uh, once one's out. Uh, do a chair. Her. Yeah. Bitch, I'm trying to switch my thing out. Why is it not working? Oh, because of. And this is here. I'll change this to pick a cherry. There you go. All right. Oh God. Oh. oh wow. That was a lot. Come on, Barry. Everything all right? How was your first combat experience? I'm still shaking. I'm really a little worried you're so casual well, about I've it. I've gotten used to it. I guess I can handle it, but if I have the choice, I'll stick to books and machines, thanks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, actually, thanks. That was terrifying. Uh, I didn't completely lose it, though. I mean, it's your first experience, so I'm I can, alive, so I guess I that's understand. a good sign. Thanks, really. I know how that would have gone if it was just me. Yeah. Still want to join the Brotherhood? Definitely. I might not be the most brave in a fight, but you must need people to keep everything running. And if the occasional moment of terror is the price for getting to work with their tech, I can live with it. Okay, sounds good, sounds good. You're a brave guy. You did all right. Just back up and head to Fort Alice when you're ready. I will. Thanks again for keeping me alive. As well as giving me this chance. I'll make sure you and the rest of the Brotherhood don't regret it. Be safe out there. Alright. Sounds good. I'm gonna go clear the rest of this place out. And go talk to Paladin. It's probably gonna go to piss because I... Took you in, but... Oh well. Yay, swimming pool. They even had a pool down here. That's fucking sick. This would be, would have been a cool place to live. Some books. Golf clubs. Sniper rifle, I'll take that. If I sell that. Can I take that reward? I wanna take that trophy. Ooh, this weird door that is open. He hits. I'll take that. Probably how they afforded this big uh, underground bunker. Picture of a clown, what the fuck? That's creepy. Some of them must have slept here. I'm gonna take a nap. That way I can get some more XP bonus. I'll wait till it says well rested.
And there we go. Ah, took a little nap. Hell yeah. That's bad. Oh, that scared the fuck out of me. Can rest room. Okay. Right over here. Damn, this is a nice ass place. Look at all of this. This is fucking huge. They even got another bathroom? Damn. We got a kitchen. Look at that middle food. Take the drink though. Here's a security vault. <laughs> Bitch. Someone was here eating food and drinking, it looks like. Toilet paper, handcuffs. Knuckle cherry. Stem packs. Organ beans, canned coffee. Yes, I am. Oh, I got all the spoiled food and stuff. Go. Nice ass fucking things. Must have got attacked by ghouls. What are you doing? Hanging out playing some golf, bitch? Uh, and I need to cure myself real quick. Some antibiotics. There we go. Well, let's go report back to Paladin. And finally be an initiate and installed into the Brotherhood of Steel. <laughs> so Alright, let's go ahead. Talk to Paladin. Oh, yeah. Alright, here we go. We are all links in the chain, bound in brotherhood. Yes, yes. No yes, yes. meat approved. A perfectly preserved pie with every dinner declined. And Welcome this... back. Have you completed your assigned mission, candidate? Yes, I have. I wiped out the nest. I also found someone else who wanted to sign up. Ah, that explains young Colin Putnam arriving at our doorstep then. Bright kid. I can't say Shin thought much of him, but if he makes it through basic training, I think he found us another scribe. That'll make Valdez happy. I'm very pleased with your initiative. Excellent job. Thank you. Not only have you achieved everything we set out for you, but you have expanded our order and helped to secure its future in Appalachia. I hereby confer on you the status of probationary initiate in the Brotherhood of Let's go! I'm sorry, but we'll have to sorry, put the I official initiation right on hold. Something's come up, and we need to deal with it right away. If you've got anything else you need to take care of, make it quick. 
Report to me again when you're ready. I'm ready. Mm. Let's go. And they gave us a new weapon. Throwing nukes left and right. Do the people of Appalachia think a bomb is a plaything? Mind over matter. 50% damage to the rules. Thank you very much. Without running my own operation, you'd involve this much paperwork. And we get to level up. Alright. Uh, I don't want to do fuck. Hmm. Need to see if we can spare any supplies for the relief efforts. Might buy us goodwill with the locals. Okay, junk to me. Gain up to ten damage. And energy resistant. Hmm. Someone returned their gun to the wrong place again. Do I need to call a seminar on this? I cannot believe these people are still hurling nukes at each other. It's madness. Uh, let's do something else. I want to do... Disorder is to be expected in a place that lacked brotherhood oversight for so long. Still, this is... Packs. I will not allow Atlas to go the way of Fort Defiance. Let us heal faster. Hell yeah. Oh, I already got... Full first aid. Son of a bitch. Raiders causing trouble again. I guess we must grab this. Son of a bitch. Them. That was a waste. At least we can put one more of these though. Wait, there's no, this, this be useful. I need to get rid of something though, still. Um, get rid of this. And this. Yay. how much they've managed to rebuild here. Alright, I just talked to her play. until we're ready and Hello, then... Hello, Initiate. Congratulations. I apologize that we aren't able to do an official ceremony. I've been informed that there is an independent settlement that needs our help. Another A group of Blood Eagle Raiders are extorting the villagers and taking their supplies. The village's leader, Jenny Brown, has more information. You can find her at their settlement. A camp made up of tree houses that they call the Retreat. Uh, very well. Understood. I trust that you will represent the Brotherhood admirably on your first mission, Initiate. Very well. I expect Valdez to retune my power armor. Yay! We cut ourselves free from America to rebuild America. Take the old and forge it anew. So I can come in here and grab stuff. If there's anything, which there is not. I'm gonna be getting off now, and then uploading this video, and then going to bed. <laughs> oh. I think this is day 10 of playing. I don't remember actually. Hello. I'm thinking about joining up, getting in on the ground floor. How about you? Always good to see a friend. Welcome Don't back. worry about the bots. Should be calling me Nishra. Me. Maybe. Sorry. I've been keeping watch out. It helps yeah, to fine. stay friendly. Nothing so far. <laughs> Given everything. Alright. Don't. Have a good day. Thank you for helping me out with coming uh initiate. Very much grateful. I wonder if I'll see. Those crater types are tough and nicer than you think, but 
I want to under fast sleep on man, or whatever his name is. Sometime. All right, we gotta go over down here, which isn't too far away from one of these areas. Yeah, that's gonna be it for today's episode, guys. We are now part of the Brotherhood of Steel. I thought they would give me some like armor or something at least, but apparently not. Sounds a bit just put this down. Yes, because why not? Uh, if anything tries to attack, we'll be ready. Put that on now instead of this. It's like model right. Was this right? Wait, hold on. Anyone this right arm the can't really tell. Country just to get here has earned right leg. I already got right leg. This is 18, 18, 14. This one's 17, 3, 0. This one we'll grants up to Atlas stronger than Fort Or in health is currently at 0. Um. Yeah, I think I'm gonna repair this. With a repair kit. And put this on and take that away. No shit. Ow. And let's do one of these guns. Should let's drop them. We don't want that. Um, I don't really want this either because I like this other gun. Okay, I guess we can save. Save on our stuff. Actually, hold on. Let me check my. Probably gotta repair one of these, don't I? Shit, that's not what I meant to do. Yeah, we can repair this left arm right here. And you know what, let's enter it, cause why not? I barely get, they get to get on this. Hell yeah. We can help out with the people later. But yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I'll see you guys tomorrow or whenever. The next day. Hope you guys have a good day. This is SQX. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day. Bye bye.